My name is Akush Buri. I'm the European Creative Director here at TG. And I want to share with you one of our haircuts from our latest collection, which is called uh, Retrospective. It hasn't been released yet, but I thought uh, it would be a great opportunity to share the technique I actually did for the collection. So this is Alex, a lovely model. She actually got the haircut, something similar that we'll be going for today. And uh, I will, um, I might even invite Warren later to the scene to ex explain the, the color, which I think is important to the total look. So the haircut itself is a disconnected shape. It's obviously based on my favorite haircut, the mullet. So again, uh, I get to uh, do another variation for this particular look. So starting off, which is, is very, very important, is obviously the preparation. And we use some, uh, some products, some cutting lotion uh, to start with. So in this case, we're using Bedhead on the rebound. This is a cream-based product. And this will help with the sectioning pattern. And of course, once the hair starts drying off, this will help to control the movement and create texture and also create uh, a bit of definition within the shape. Just going through a good amount is applied. Uh, just to give you a quick analysis of the hair, uh, Alexandra's hair is, is relatively dense and uh, just has a lot of natural volume. So what I would do is obviously create the shape, but more importantly, or just as important, is to create uh, the texture and remove weight internally from the shape to suit obviously her texture, natural texture. She does have a bit of movement, which is fantastic. It's got a really, really nice texture to work with. So just uh, take a minute, because uh, section pattern is very, very important to this one. And this haircut has a horizontal disconnection, which I'll explain when I, once I get there. So you can see already how uh, the color has been created on the side and at the back. So I will maintain most of the perimeter to really bring out the contrast within the shape. And starting off with an elongated delta shape section, you can see just from the high point of recession, and this will be just coming to the occipital bone. So this will be almost like a V-shaped section if you look at it from the back view. So see how this happens here. Hopefully the camera can pick it up. So it's almost like a C curvature section, except this ends just at the occipital bone. And meeting it up from the other side. So those of you who actually managed to join the initial interview we did this morning, we talked about retrospective itself as a collection. And I think it's, uh, it's important to say that uh, the inspiration is obviously coming from previous decades. We can mention pretty much, you know, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. There's a, there's a great mixture and fusion and all those influences for this collection. Let's take a minute here. Obviously, you can see now how the hair is just so resisting to what we want to do with it as far as sectioning. That's why it's great to have a thick, uh, product within the hair. So there we go, just going to clip this away. There we go. Just going to take just one second here. But I think actually I'm pretty happy with this, how this turned out straight away. I don't need to get to too particular, I think it's, uh, it's all there now. So you can see how uh, the section pattern is a diagonal back, slightly curved section, just away from the face. And this allows us to expose the underneath and back area. There we go. So the so next section is crucial to what I was saying that this will be just a subtle disconnection here. And once I get to the later stages, once I start personalizing the shape and drying it off, you will start seeing what it does for the haircut itself. So from here, you can see there's 
If you imagine what a radial division would be from the crown to the ear, so take a soft zigzag section here. Let me just open up this section, you can see it better. Again, this is just encompasses the flat side of the front of the ear area. You can see it here. As you can see, this requires quite a few section and clips. So here we go. I'm going to just turn her to you. So hopefully you can see this a bit better. There we go. So you see, there's a little soft zigzag just at the sides because I will remove weight in the first step in the front of the ear. But this, this zigzag, just like in color, will help to blend the separate different lengths within the shape because the back area is slightly disconnected to the front. So here we go. So you can see how the first section, taking a horizontal section here, just at the top of the parietal ridge, high elevation, and using deep point cutting, remove the weight. So obviously this will not affect anything but the weight internally of the shape. And again, playing with uh, Alex's hair, you do need to leave enough length, even though the hair, you're creating a short haircut, to be able to personalize it. So you can see I'm not cutting it too short here. And also, as you're moving on, you see how over directing all the hair to a stationary guide. So again, it's just about the consistency of elevation and distribution. So now you can start seeing how the color is being involved. And again, the actual shape is following the curvature of the head. And last section, again, this will slightly affect the length, but the majority will remain intact. So now it just bend, blends it into the perimeter. So straight away, combing the hair back, you can see how we softened the side perimeter. And you can see how the weight was removed. So the hair can sit much flatter, more compact to the head. Okay, that's looking good. So moving on to the opposite side. And again, the zigzag is not a precision as long as you have balance on both sides. Because the, the entire haircut is not a precision haircut, but it's a balanced haircut. So all the way throughout, you want to make sure that you're dealing with each area and mimicking the opposite side. So here we go again. Horizontal section, standing on the opposite side of the head. And once again, holding the hair quite deeply close to the scalp. And again, that soft, yet yeah, deep point cut to eliminate this weight. So I'm going, of course, uh, each person, you can vary the depth of how shallow, how deep you point cut. In, in Alex's case, because the hair is so dense, and I'm taking it a little bit further deep into, to create more texture. So again, just repetition at this point. So you can, you can progress quite quickly with the layers. Ah, brilliant. You can see how it just takes all this weight out and create a narrow shape. So allow the hair to sit much flatter and closer to the head. Right. So at this point, I will borrow this, one of these clips here to secure the back area. Oh, sorry, the front from the back. Turn it all the way around. Let's not miss this. 
So hair starts drying off relatively quickly here. So secure this away and same on this side because now I will approach the nape as well as the obviously the, the back area. So I'm going to bring you over here. There we go. So the angle I'm working with, and actually I will change my cutting tool to a razor because I'm creating a shorter to longer angle, which we know that the razor is just the ideal tool for. You can see she's got an existing shape, very, very similar to the idea I'm going with. But taking out some of this weight from the occipital bone and leaving the length as it is. So it's really just uh, weight management at the back. Now each section, as I'm progressing towards the sides, is always directed back slightly. And then this will result in building weight and length towards the ear area. And that's something you understand now will create a subtle disconnection towards the panel on the sides. And again, it's not about how much you're cutting off from this existing shape. It's about how you, what you're leaving behind. Because yes, I'm building a shape on the existing haircut, but I'm also changing it at the same time. Because it's about balancing the weight to the length to create that ideal shape. So you see the, the length is all the way intact, but the layers inside make it nice and soft and create that elongated shape. 